Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher, and today I am celebrating my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. Can you believe 10 years ago today, I did something that would change my life forever? Yeah, I started a YouTube channel. So I thought it would be a great way to celebrate by taking a special look back at some of my magic moments from the last decade here on YouTube. So grab your ukulele. So grab your uke. Grab your uke. Grab your uke. Grab your uke. Thank you so much for watching me and supporting me over the years and stay tuned because later in the video I'm giving away not one, not two, but three brand new Carla ukuleles and even a brand new Carla guitar. One of the really cool things about being a YouTuber has been the uh, opportunity to collaborate and duet with some really amazing musicians all over the world. I did one in Los Angeles with Maximilian, and here I am in my old Fulham flat with uh, Abby Oliphant, uh, an incredible soprano singer. But the really exciting thing was being able to travel around the world. This was a really special one for me, meeting Justina Johnson in Washington DC and recording this beautiful duet in front of the Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool. And of course, getting the opportunity to perform live again has been really special to me as well. I just didn't really play live on stage very much for a long, long time. But since becoming a YouTuber, I've had the opportunity to perform um, at a number of weddings and concerts and things like that. And it's been so great to meet up with new musicians. Here I am performing outside in Austria with uh, the lovely Opera Lely duo. And it was so cool to meet them. And they were very fun and generous with their time. And of course, one of the highlights of my YouTube decade is getting to know members of the ukulele orchestra in person. It was so exciting when Will messaged me on Facebook and we had a great chat. And since then I've been able to see the orchestra a number of times and even uh, get to know them and duet with them. Here I am duetting with the gentle giant of the ukulele orchestra, Peter, and his incredibly talented young daughter, Poppy. This was a video I was very excited to make. It was a duet with the YouTube OG Danielle Ate the Sandwich, who was also very, very generous with her time and advice. And I was so excited getting to perform with her and make that little video in my old flat or apartment, I should say, in Los Angeles. And here I am with the uh, YouTube ukulele stars Cynthia Lynn and Ukuleni uh, at the Carla stand in Nam one year. Now, these next bunch of videos are really, really special to me. They were all brought about by a YouTube music group that was set up by the lovely Tom Goss. Uh, Tom put this group together for YouTube musicians in Los Angeles to get to meet and perform collabs with each other. And I got to meet some really, really incredible people through this group, including, as you'll see here, the lovely Anne Reburn, who has since gone on to become an absolutely massive superstar and uh, a real, fantastic YouTuber and of course singer and musician and I'm so glad to see her doing well. This was one of my favorite collabs to do and I'm really glad to see she's doing so well for herself now. Not only have I been lucky enough to have some cool people appear on my YouTube channel but I've been fortunate enough to appear on other people's YouTube channels. Back in 2014, I had an absolute blast appearing on Barry Lewis, AKA My Virgin Kitchens YouTube channel. We had so much fun at the YouTube space in London, trying some delicious Austrian sweets. And I was able to show him a couple of my fruity ukes. And I've even recently recorded a part for Papa Teach Me, the brilliant YouTube English teacher. I'm gonna be on one of his upcoming videos as well. Getting to travel the world has been a really amazing part of being a YouTuber for me over the last decade. Uh, here I am performing in Ljubljana, courtesy of Flight Music, and I performed an evening with John Atkins on what actually happened to be my birthday, although uh, nobody he knew at the time. But it was really cool to travel the world and see some new people and just have a really exciting experience. And of course, I was a regular attendee of the Los Angeles International Ukulele Festival, and I hope to go back there again someday in the not too distant F because uh, I get to meet so many of you guys there and it's really cool getting to meet and chat with you guys in person. That festival is organized by the incredibly supportive Mitch Chang as well, who has been a really great help to me throughout my YouTube career. And here I am performing uh, or being a part of a massive ukulele flash mob in Austria. 
just before the Austrian Ukulele Festival kicked off in 2019. And that was really fun and exciting. Again, a chance to just meet some of you people and meet some people in real life as well, because as a YouTuber, I do tend to get a little bit trapped in my room. So it's really exciting getting to do these festivals and meet people in person. What has to go down as perhaps one of the highlights, not just of my YouTube career, but of my life, was getting to go to Abbey Road Studios, the incredibly legendary Abbey Road Studios, and record with Mark Ronson. It was so exciting and so unexpected, uh, and it all happened so quickly as well. Sometimes I sort of pinch myself because the whole thing seemed like a dream. One of the other great things about it as well is that I've stayed friends with some of the other YouTubers that were a part of this video. The lovely Iobe sisters who are also doing really, really well for themselves nowadays, and that's so cool to see. Uh, they were actually a part of my marriage story because when I proposed to my lovely wife, Tiffany, they came around to my flat in Fulham and played some beautiful music for us while I got down on one knee and uh, it was just a magical moment and that all came about because of this incredible experience with Mark Ronson. And just a few years later, not only did she become my wife, but she gave birth to our beautiful son, Percy, and I could not be happier to become a dad and a husband. All of this is only possible because I took a chance and I believed in myself and I put myself out there to create this YouTube channel in the first place. So a couple of years ago, my YouTube channel was absolutely huge and millions of people were watching it. And one of the cool things about millions of people watching meant that some of those people happened to be celebrities. And two of those celebrities were Dick and Dom, who I was a huge fan of from many, many years back. They followed me on Twitter years ago, and that was super exciting for me. And then when they decided to do a podcast during lockdown, they gave me a shout and asked me to write a song for it. It was really, really fun to be a part of their podcast, and I loved just being a part of the Dick and Dom world, even if it was only for two minutes. It was a real highlight for me. Something that I still find hard to get my head around is that people have actually invited me, a YouTuber, to their weddings to perform. Back in 2014, I was invited to play at a wedding in Austin, Texas, which was just an incredible experience, and really fun and exciting, and an absolutely unforgettable day for me. And then a couple of years later, when I was actually living in America, I got invited to play at a wedding in upstate New York, where I performed with one of my favorite musicians of all time, the former They Might Be Giants drummer, Dan Hickey. We played a live version of You Can Call Me Al, and it was an absolutely barnstorming experience, and everyone, including me, had a really fun time, and I was so privileged and lucky to have been a part of that. Not only have I been a part of two weddings, I've also been a part of a proposal. A couple of years ago, I started recording messages for fans on Cameo, where basically I'll write a special little song for you, or I'll sing you a happy birthday, and by the way, you can still book me on there. Someone booked me and asked if I would write a special song to help him propose to his girlfriend. And that was a really special moment for me, and hopefully for them, and I know for a fact they're actually getting married very, very soon. I wish you guys absolutely the best, and I'm so pleased and flattered and honored to have been a small part of your story. Back in 2016, actually the same weekend that I was in Ljubljana visiting my flight music friends, I was suddenly getting loads and loads of tweets and YouTube comments and Facebook messages telling me that I had to check out this girl who was appearing on America's Got Talent and do a tutorial on her song, I Don't Know My Name, as soon as possible. And then within an hour of me posting the lesson and tweeting out the link, she had tweeted me back and said, I can't believe it, this guy taught me how to play the ukulele and now he's covering my lessons. Well, that was a really exciting moment for me and hopefully an exciting moment for her as well. She went on to win America's Got Talent and I've never been so proud or excited in my life. And a couple of years later, when I was living in LA, I actually got to meet her in person and her mum and they were both really, really lovely. Great things do sometimes happen to great people and it's been really wonderful to see how well Grace has done. And again, I'm so humbled to have played just a tiny part in her story. One of my favorite things about being a YouTuber has just been being given the opportunity to be creative. At first, when I started this channel, it was sort of a joke and I was called the ukulele teacher and I thought, well, all I can ever do here is lessons. But then I thought, you know what? It's my YouTube channel and I can post on it whatever I like. I'm gonna start doing some more fun stuff. The first ever cover I ever did on my YouTube channel was a really crazy four part thing on Daft Punk Get Lucky. You could see the wallpaper peeling in the background and the videos were slightly out of sync, but I worked so hard putting it together and it actually sounded really good. 
good. And since then, I've covered lots of different songs in lots of different styles as well. But it's just fun whenever I got the opportunity to just put them together and flex my creative muscles, posting covers of songs that I love and hopefully that you guys enjoy as well. <laughs> I said at the beginning of my video that one of the people I wanted to say thank you to for this 10 years of incredible and exciting adventures here on YouTube is you guys. And I'm going to do that by giving away not one, not two, but three brand new Carla ukuleles. Thanks to Joe and the guys at Carla, they've donated some new ukuleles and even a brand new guitar for me to give away to you. All you have to do is find me on Instagram. Follow me, follow Carla. Tag two of your friends on my special 10 year anniversary post. And in a couple of weeks time, you might end up with a new uke or a new guitar. And by the way, don't worry if you don't win because I have a special affiliate link. And if you just click on that link in the video description below, because you follow me, you'll get money off anything on the Carla website. Another way that I want to thank you guys is to give my Patreon page an absolute overhaul. There used to be hundreds of tiers and it was getting really confusing. What I'm going to do is just simplify everything now. There's just going to be three tiers. There's going to be a $5 tier if you want the ute lessons. There's a $5 tier if you want the guitar lessons. But for just $8, you're going to get everything. So sign up at the $8 tier. There's a playlist of over 20 Patreon exclusive ukulele and guitar lessons. You get a thousand page songbook with song sheets for every single thing that I've ever done, behind the scenes posts, early access to videos, and loads of other cool stuff. And it helps me to carry on doing what I'm doing as well. Plus, I'm going to start doing some online Zoom ukulele jams. I've got some great ideas planned for Patreon over the next few months, and I'd love for you guys to be a part of it. So check out my newly revamped, overhauled, cheaper Patreon. Well, it's been 10 amazing years. What does the future hold for me? Honestly, I really don't know. I'm going to be posting guitar lessons every Wednesday. I'm going to be posting ukulele lessons every Sunday. And I'm basically just going to carry on doing what I love doing. There's a whole bunch of people I want to say thank you to, and I couldn't and didn't do it on my own. Firstly, the people who've given me ukuleles over the years, especially Flight Music, Carla Brand Music, who have given me some of my favorite ukuleles, um, Ortega, who were really cool to me for a year, John, who made the ukulele app, my mum and dad and sisters who've supported me and wished me luck and shared my videos pretty much every week for the last 10 years. Keith, who sent me the beautiful junkyard ukulele. Thank you so much, Keith. I'll never forget that. That's one of the coolest things I've ever received in the mail. The Ukulele Orchestra of Great Britain, especially Will and Peter, who I duetted with. You've been a big inspiration to me and I want to thank you for putting out amazing videos during lockdown and just for being really, really cool people when I've got to meet you backstage. Mitch who organized the Los Angeles International Ukulele Festival and has made sure that I've been a part of it every year that I've been in LA. Jack from Uke Life, who actually I think was the guy who told me about the LA Festival the first year back in 2015. Thank you for giving me those cool ukuleles. Hope you're doing well. Maximilian, who did my first ever collab with. Tom Goss, for setting up the YouTube musicians group in LA. I hope you'll come and visit us in England one day. Danielle ate the sandwich. Danielle, thank you. You gave me some really helpful advice when you came to record that video with me, and I appreciate that. Laura Ridges, my social media guru, all of my patrons, I cannot tell you how much you guys have changed my life. And on top of that, Patreon itself, to each and every one of you who has ever watched so much as a single second of my videos. Because again, without you guys, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. And of course, especially a huge and big, the biggest of thank yous to my incredible wife, Tiffany. I love you so much. Ever since we met, you've believed in what I'm doing and you've just helped me and guided me and supported me. And I couldn't have done this without you. And Percy, my little baby boy, I love you so much and I'm so proud of you. And I love playing the ukulele with you. This isn't the Oscars, but I did want to say all those thank yous. Thank you so much to all of you guys for being a part of my life. If there's anyone I've forgotten, I really do honestly apologize, but I'm grateful to you all. I know I've said it on, I think every single video that I've ever posted, but I really genuinely mean it. I'm choking up a little bit here, but until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You are the best.